Have you ever wanted to escape the cold of the winter and go down to Florida and enjoy the amazing campgrounds they have down there? Guess what? I did this past year and I'm going to clue you into all the really cool campgrounds I stayed at. From state campgrounds to local campgrounds to county campgrounds to private campgrounds and even some really cool boondocking spots. So let's take a look. So while I was in Florida, I got to stay at a state park. Take a look at this one. Florida state parks are highly prized camping spots in the winter months, and reservations are a must. Camping is available at 57 of the 175 Florida state parks. Day. Hillsboro River State Park offers 112 camping sites. Florida residents have a one-month head start to reserve campsites in any Florida State Park. They can reserve up to 11 months in advance and non-Florida residents only 10 months. Fees for camping are approximately $40 per night. My dog loved this state park and I would highly recommend you check it out yourself. My takeaways were that this was a wonderful park with large roomy sites and lots of trails to go walking. They have a swimming pool, which was closed for the winter, but I can see how that is a much bigger draw in the summertime. I would also bring a bike to check out the entire park as it's over 3,300 acres. Okay, so I have my, ta-da, little sticker I gotta take to the ranger station. These guys have been really cool, by the way, and I'm so happy I got to stay here. This was really not on my list of places I was gonna go to. So Hillsboro River uh, State Park, totally fantastic. I will say this, gonna give you guys a little heads up. So there's three different loops. You get a chance to park in the first loop. It's awesome. They have great showers and great bathrooms, but loop three, which is the older one, just saying, um, has really nice, nice needs showers. The this video is sponsored by RVMattress.com, a Brooklyn bedding brand known for top-of-the-line comfort and quality. They offer different firmness options, heights, and dimensions with RV-specific and non-traditional sizes to fit right into your lifestyle. Their mattresses ship conveniently to you for free anywhere in the United States. When I started searching for my new RV camper van mattress, I needed a mattress to not only fit, but be comfortable, durable, flexible, and healthy. I found that an RV mattress. I've been testing my Dream Foam Essential mattress for a few months now and I love it. What I like most is that it is extremely more comfortable than the mattress that was sold with my RV camper van. Getting a good night's rest can make a huge difference in your day. My mattress has great temperature control so it's not too hot and not too cold. With RV mattress, you get a 120 night sleep trial along with a 10 year warranty. It's delivered right to your door for free within the United States. Plus, it just comes rolled up in a box and it's super easy to set up yourself. If I can set it up, anyone can do it. RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding has their own factory in Arizona. This means that they're able to use premium materials at a reasonable price with no middleman bringing up the cost. I love my RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding and I think you will too. If you're looking for a new bed for your home or RV, check out rvmattress.com. You can click on the link in the description below or go to rvmattress.com slash Charlie Grace and get 25% off your new mattress. Your dreams will thank you. Thank you RV Mattress for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to click the link in the description for your 25% off RV Mattress. If you have any questions, feel free to either ask me a question or go to rvmattress.com. They've got tons of information for you and you know what, you're gonna love it. The Cool Touch mattress, I love this. No more hot nights of sleep. It's fantastic. A lot of people don't think about county parks. I'm telling you, they're one of the best kept secrets. So I got to stay at a Brevard County Park. Take a look at this one. Tell me what you think in the comments below.
Okay, I think I'm gonna like it here for two reasons. One, uh, the office staff is hilarious. <laughs> Which is really cool. I'm gonna be here for a few days. Um, I may or may not get a water site. I don't think I'm gonna wear a site, water site tonight, but there's tons of water around me, so I'm gonna be walking and doing things. So uh, let's go find the campsite and just get ready for a nice, relaxing evening. It's been a very, very busy couple of weeks. All right, this is home for the next few days. We have this nice, big, awesome green lush grass for Rosie. She's gonna love this. And then I'm gonna watch the sunset right over here. I cannot wait to watch the sun go down over the water. Long Point Park is an 84-acre county park located in Brevard County near the Sebastian Inlet and the Atlantic Ocean. It features campsites along the shoreline for convenient fishing, sunset and dolphin watching, a boat ramp, and a small fishing dock. This is truly an amazing park with lots of green space for your dog. I love this park so much that I extended my stay and tried out different campsites in the park. I found out that many people reserve their spots a year in advance and have been coming to spend their winter months here for years. They offer laundry and updated bathrooms on premises, which makes it easy for you to stay longer and enjoy the peace and quiet. There's a state park located beside this county park named Sebastian Inlet State Park, which you can visit, but I prefer the amount of space and shoreline camping offered at Long Point Park. Adjacent to the camping area and connected by a bridge is Scout Island, which offers primitive camping at a reasonable group rate with more than a mile of nature trails. Florida County Parks are a hidden gem. Okay, how cool is this sunset? This is like pretty awesome. Okay, these guys are from Canada. Say hi, yay, hi. yay. Okay, I just got off my first ever kayak ride and I survived and the sunset is gorgeous here. So uh, definitely something I think you should try. Private campgrounds are amazing and offer lots of amenities. One of my favorite campgrounds ever is Camp Margaritaville in Auburndale, Florida. If you've never been to this RV resort, you really need to check it out. Take a look at this lovely view I had and the amazing amenities. Here we go. Camp Margaritaville is located southwest of Orlando in Auburndale, Florida. If you're looking for a resort with amazing customer service and amenities, then look no further than this award-winning RV resort with 326 RV sites and 75 cabana cabins. They are big rig friendly and offer lots of amazing amenities, such as an atmosphere surrounding their tiki bar, fire pits, resort pools, entertainment stage, playground, dog parks, pup 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 course, and much more. Get ready to splurge a bit, as these RV sites can be up to and over $100 a night for a camping site. However, I did get you a discount. When you make your next reservation, there's a special code in the link in the description of this video. Go check it out. I think everyone should check out this campground at least once while they're staying in Florida. It may change the way you think about RV resorts in the future. Good morning from Camp Margaritaville. Oh my gosh, it's a beautiful morning. Oh, let me see, I can get the door open. Oh geez. You know, sometimes these doors are a little heavy. Do you have one of those automatic doors? Because I do not, I have what I call a good old fashioned use your muscles kind of door. Anyways, let's take a look outside this morning. It's a little overcast, but you know what? Palm trees. See the palm trees in the windows of the van? How cool is that? Palm tree. And uh, it's gonna be a gorgeous day here today. They say it's gonna be in the 70s, I believe. But uh, planning on doing some activities and going to see some people and lots of really awesome spaces here if you wanna go. The back end sites are really, really, I'll say spacious and gracious. And you're parked on these shelves instead of concrete or gravel. Sort of interesting, really cool. They've got these great, little cabanas behind me so if you want to like rent a place you can rent a place if you don't have an RV which I love so you know bring some family bring some friends there's tons of stuff to do 
and uh, honestly, it's in my top five of awesome campgrounds in the United States if you wanna bring some friends, have some fun, and just enjoy the day. Boondocking can be a bit more difficult in Florida. When in doubt, you can always find a Cracker Barrel. However, don't be surprised if you arrive later and there are no sights. They do fill up rather quickly. For more boondocking, I recommend you check out camping memberships, such as RV Overnights, which gives you a lot of options for fun overnight stays, such as wineries, breweries, and farms. I'll leave a link in the description below. I've been using them for a lot of my trip planning lately, and I've been very impressed with finding great boondocking locations. Do you have a favorite campground in Florida? If so, leave a comment below and I'll check it out on my next trip. So when making your travel plans to go to Florida, just realize that a lot of people make reservations way far in advance. So if you're thinking about doing it, now's the time to check out these campgrounds, call them up, go online, make some reservations, and decide what you're gonna do. I'll leave a link in the description to all the places I've stayed so you guys can check them out. And if they were nice enough to give me a discount, I'll put that link in there for you too. If you love camping, RV life, van life, do me a favor, hit that like button on the video. Even hit subscribe and that bell to get notified when all the, my really cool videos come out because you know what, you'll be the first to know. So until next video, just remember that every day is an adventure. All right guys, so apparently the cruise ship's coming like this and there's all sorts of cruise ships and this is one of the new ones, I think. Um, it's not a carnival, could be a Royal Caribbean. Apparently it carries a lot of people. Um, not really sure what kind, apparently they say they wear uniforms. I don't know, fashion, I'm not a fashion person. So you guys tell me what you think this is. I do know it's a catamaran of sorts and uh, it's coming on a nice clip. So for those of you going on this cruise, uh, good luck and thank you for your service.